So welcome as work out this beautiful exponential equation. So let's work it out. 4 to the power of a multiplied by 4 to the power of a is equals to 400. So assuming that now we have a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n, this one can be written as a to the power of n plus n. So that is according to the law of logarithms. So finally now we shall now have, when you have 4 to the power of a, multiply by 4 to the power of a, it shall be 4 to the power of 2a. So that is to mean that now we shall now have 4 to the power of 2a is equals to 400. So the next thing now is to introduce the log from both sides. So let's now introduce the log. So we shall now have the log of 4 to the power of 2a is equals to the log of 400. So assuming that we have the log of p to the power of m, this one can be written as m, the log of p. So here now we shall have 2a, the log of 4, is equals to the log of 400. So from here now, we shall now divide both sides by the log of 4, then also this side by the log of 4. So here now we shall now say that log 4 and log 4 shall cancel. So now 2a is equals to the log of 400 all over the log of 4. So next is 2a is equals to, so the log of 400 can be written as the log of 4 or the log of 10 multiplied by, by 4, 0. That is 40, 10 multiplied by 40. Then all over the log of 4, all over the log of 4. So according to the law of logarithm, when you have the log of a multiplied by b, can be written as the log of a plus the log of b. So here now we shall now say that 2a is equals to, so this one now shall now have the log of 10 plus the log of 40, then all over the log of 4. So let's now simplify it completely. So 2a is equals to, so log 10 can be written as the log of 5 multiplied by 2. Then we shall put into bracket all of these. We shall divide by the log of 4. Then plus, so the log of 40 can be written as the log of 10 multiplied by 4 or 4 multiplied by 10. We put into bracket then all over the log of 4. So next we shall say that, so next now we shall now say that 2a is equals to, so here now we shall have the log of 5, then plus the log of 2, then all over the log of 4, then plus, so here now we shall have the log of 4, plus the log of 10, all over the log of 4. So we shall say that, so 2a is equals to, so let's now split it. So here now we shall have the log of 5. So we shall divide both sides by the log of 4. All over the log of 4. Then plus the log of 2. All over the log of 4. Plus. So this one now shall have the log of 4. All over the log of 4. Then plus. So here now we shall have the log of 5 multiplied by 2. All over the log of 4. So 2a is equals to, so here now, sorry, so this one should be log. So here now shall have the log of 5, then all over the log of 4, log 5, all over the log of 4, then plus log 2, all over the log of 4, then log 4 and log 4 shall cancel, we shall now have plus 1, then plus, this one now shall have the log of 5 all over the log of 4 then plus log 2 all over the log of 4 so next now we shall now say that when you have the log of a all over the log of b this one can be written as the log of a to the base of b so finally our answer now shall be 2a is equals to so here now we shall have the log of 5 to the base of 4, then plus the log of 2 to the base of 4, 
then plus 1 plus so we shall also have the log of 5 to the base of 4 then plus log 2 to the base of 4 then from there now we shall now check that log 5 to the base of 4 is we shall also have log 5 to the base of 4 so we shall now say that 2a is equals to so we shall now have 2 into so the log of 5 to the base of 4 the log of 5 to the base of 4 simply because there are 2 then we shall now put into bracket then we shall also have or plus again here we shall have again 2 because we have them 2 into bracket the log of 2 to the base of 4 then plus plus 1 so here now 2a is equals to so we can write it by having a, as a 2 into bracket the log of 5 to the base of 4 then plus the log of 2 to the base of 4 then plus plus 1 so from here now for us to remain with 2a we shall now divide both sides by 2 then also the all of this by 2 so that 2 by 2 shall cancel so now we shall now have a to be equals to so this one these two and these two shall also cancel so we shall now have a to be equals to the log of 5 to the power of to the log of 5 to the base of 4 then plus the log of 2 to the base of 4 then plus plus 1 then all over 2 so all over 2 so these are now qualifies to be our most correct and the best answer so if you really loved how we worked out this maths problem so don't forget to subscribe to our channel